I'm just popping on to welcome you to the vid and say it's wedding week. I'm getting stuff together for the basket in the bathroom for the wedding. So but there's like little bits. I'm putting one in the guys and the girls. Um, and I've got more stuff. I feel like scattered around. Well, I just found this bag so I thought I'd show you. So I've got two little mints, deodorant. These are for the girls. I need to get boys ones. Free spray apparently. It's meant to stop your feet hurting, so it like kind of numbs them so that you're not in pain from your heels. And then also these blister plasters for your heels and <laughs> um, bloody heels. And then um, some wipes. Like now it's going to be removing their apron, like, mm, I don't know. Maybe they'll just need it to clean up a spill or like something that they've gotten themselves or whatever. Um, some paracetamol, some panty liners for the girls. I also got tampons. Oh, I forgot I also got baby blenders. These are just for pennies. They were so cheap. They're three couple of years and they're so squidgy. They look really, really good. Just for people to like fix up their powder or whatever. Guys, my wedding shoes came the other day. I'm dying to show you them. It's a lovely fancy box. so cute i love them i saw them in the dun in <clears throat> oh my god my throat dun drum and um they only have them on display they don't actually sell them in the shop so then i bought them online actually i didn't get them on their website in the end i got them somewhere else because they were reduced so i'll link them below in case you're looking um but yeah they're so nice like the quality is so so good phenomenal i don't actually know if i've ever bought from them before and then look i just noticed they have this little oh god um, they have this little blue diamond thing underneath. It's so cute. That could technically be your something blue, surely. So yeah, I love them. And like all the packaging and stuff, it's very like fancy, you know? It's, it's like high-end designer quality, the like packaging and stuff. It's nicer than like normal, I'd say. I'd say. Um, yeah, so I'm delighted with them and they're a good fit and stuff as well. So I need to start breaking them in. Also, don't think I've shown you. Um, I got these as like kind of to scent the room that we have in our dinner, and I might pick up more of these candles. I haven't decided. I'm like, will I get one for every table, or what will I do? But um, yeah, I've got three for now anyway. Um, they're orange blossom, citrus, and basil. And they're so nice. I've had them before. They're from Duds. I think they're like five euro. I can't see a price on them. I think they were about five euro. Um, and then these I got from Zara. I did think they were diffusers, I'm not gonna lie. But now I'm like, is it actually perfume? Because it just says eau de parfum, however you pronounce that. But I'm also like, oh, I home scent sometimes called that, I don't know. But anyway, I smell, I smelt the Jo Malone um, orange blossom and this smells so, so like it. So like it literally smells the same. They both just smell like orange, like orange, orange actual like fruit orange you know what i mean um yeah so nice so like summery and yeah just gives like vibes that you're on like a italian vineyard i feel like but yeah that's the bottle so i'm like if i put the stick things in it will it work but then i'm also like will i just see if i can get the um hotel to spray it all over the room i don't know what's better but anyways I'll see. Um, or you can buy the little diffuser things that you can put them into, like just decant it on um, Amazon. So I managed to do that on a bloody pick. I don't know how I noticed or how I didn't notice that. But anyway, I think maybe they did have a home version as well. And then I saw the bigger size in this and just kind of grabbed them rather than like actually looking at what they were, if you get me. But anyway, lovely smell at least, because if I didn't like them, it would be annoying. Um, so Fleur d'Oranger. <laughs> I'm so good. And then I'm kind of confused because it says literally here like Joe Malone CBE. Royal and Regal moments should always be celebrated with orange flowers. So I'm like, does that mean that Joe Malone works on this or like where does that come from? I don't know how they have a Joe Malone thing on the back, but anyway, I'm not complaining, stunning. Also I can't remember if I showed you this, but I got this little bag for day two. It's so cute, it has a little mirror inside and a chain and stuff. So cute. 
got it on Etsy. And then this is my bag I got it second hand on Etsy. But it seems literally brand new. So good. I really like the box and everything. How cute is this? It's kind of like linen-y fabric. It's so cute. Still got the plastic on. Even on the zip and everything. Um, it's so nice. I don't think this strap came with it though. Because it's got like rose gold on this bit. Here is gold. So that's kind of annoying that they don't match. At least I don't really care if it came with it or not. I like it but yeah I don't know. Do you think other people would notice that? <laughs> and then, then inside there's a mirror. So cute. And you can just keep your little bits and bobs in there. I'll probably just have lipstick in there. My phone is just too big for it but anyway what can you do? So I'm going to use this probably the night before and the day of just for like my bits and bobs that I have with me. I'm dying to just take this off. I'm like, no, just leave it. <laughs> Gorge, I love it. Excuse the state of the room. But she's so cute. I finally got my hands on these. I'm so happy. Some of them them on Depop because they didn't fit. They're literally brand new and perfect. I'm so happy. I'm going to wear these stuff on the honeymoon. Them, but they are quite like fit. These are my shoes for I think day two. So excited to see them. A cute bag to keep them. That's nice. Oh my god, they are beautiful. The quality is insane. Obsessed. Here they are in a better light, don't mind. The bananas in the background, but they're fab. And they're like like ivory, they're like a really nice colour. They're not like white, white. I love them. I'd love to sneak up and read it. I must have started to put in my teeth. These crests, the purple ones. They're so, so good. I used them like once last week and then the last time I used them was months ago. They were so good. Like you'll see a huge difference using literally one strip. It takes no time at all. I don't care about the scene. I don't care about the location. All that matters not to me. That you wherever I go, baby. I just need you by my side. Yeah. That's until the day I die. It's so nice. Oh, Bungie. What a beautiful Bungie. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell you about this. You forgave me. Calendar. Yes, my app and calendar started yesterday to the wedding. <laughs> Today's number six. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah, she made it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I've wanted this for so long. I know, I'd already planned on getting it for you, and then you kept fucking looking at the shop. I was like, I got it. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> We're in town picking up our wedding rings today, and I'm getting my engagement ring back because it was in con drafting yesterday, so they can do a deep clean. So I can't wait to see it and see our rings. stuff going up for the barbecue day two Woo! bringing up our coffee machine to make a little coffee station for some people that don't drink like my granny and stuff i'm just here listening to my playlist for the morning of the wedding for us to get ready to oh i love it it's all the like old songs i put in so many just like ones we used to listen to when we were younger um, and I am just going to try on now before I do anything strenuous or I'll possibly get this dirty um, yeah I'm going to try on my day two outfits these came 
and I'm like, they didn't have my actual size. So I got like a size down in the top, a size up in the skirt. And then I got a spare top just in case, hoping that it will be the same color and it will work out. But anyway, I'll show you now. I'll show you what I got first and sure, I'll try it on. Because like, it never looks the same when you're just trying it on at home than when you're fully done up. So I actually don't even mind if you see. The absolute stay to me and I'm gonna look like this for the rest of the video. So just, you know. Just to warn you, you may as well get used to it. Oh, I don't know where to put you as usual. Um, not ideal, but I do. Um, but yeah, so today, Connor's just gone up now to his parents. We're having day two and his parents. I'm assuming I told you that, but I actually don't know. We're having a barbecue. We've got like barbecue kind of caterers. They're gonna do the cooking, so at least you don't have to do it. Is that one of the dogs? Is that just the window opening the door? Not freaky at all. Um, yeah, so we're having it there. So he's bringing up like the last of the garden furniture and bits that we have to bring up. Um, and then there's a few things to bring over from my parents as well. Like my dad's made that bar that I started to show you. I don't know how well I was vlogging. I'm so bad. The last few days I'm like, shit, I should be vlogging this and I'll just take a quick video. But like, it's not really vlogged. Like you probably don't know what's going on. So I probably have to like ride on them and do a voiceover to explain. But sorry about that. <laughs> I don't want you to miss things, but it's also so hard to have the time to vlog, especially when you're like in front of a room sometimes. Um, but anyway, oh my god, these are really nice. But Opali, I haven't ordered from Opali in so long, and they've got so much quicker now. I remember it was like 10 working days for their delivery. And this, I think it was just a standard delivery was like a couple of days. I ordered this at the end of last week, and it's here today, it's Monday. It's like two or three days. They all look so nice. This is a bit more white, but if not, Oh, I'm really hoping this works out now because I've already ordered. Remember, I ordered that outfit from ASOS and returned it. If not, I'm sure there's something I can get um, on ASOS for next day delivery. Um, because today's Monday and the wedding's on Thursday. Well, it's on Friday, but we're going down on Thursday. Like, we'll have like the night before and stuff like that. And never before we're going for food and drinks, just like in the. Um, oh, my dad's running one sec. That was my dad telling me the bar that he made for day two. I think there's something off with the zoom on this. You're very close. I'm actually really far away and you're really close. Anyway, let's try these on. I'm so anxious. I'm actually so scared. I think I might be sick. Surely something will work. I want to see if they're similar. Okay, so I've basically got a skirt and top that match, but because they only have the top in an eight and I'm not an eight, I'm like, maybe I'll be able to take it out of it. Like, whatever. But oh my god, I also got this corset that looks stunning just in case I needed something else. I'm fucking obsessed with it. But I'm just like, will it be more white? Because the other is a bit more cream. They both said they were ivory, but you know, you never really know. Like, they're never the exact same colour, especially when they're in different fabrics. But the quality of this is fucking insane. Um, and then this is the top that came with the skirt. Oh, I was just listening to this too lot. I loved her when I was younger. I got your emails, you just don't get emails now, do you? I'm hideous singer. This is the top that comes with the skirt. They're not that different in colour, okay? They are a bit. I might get away with it, but anyway, maybe the top will work and I can wear that lovely corset a different time. Like anything I don't wear, I'll just wear the honeymoon, let's be honest. I have sweet fuck off for the honeymoon anyway. I did a sheen order, not going to Iraq, but that's perfect. Um, and then the, the skirt is huge. It's huge, it's huge, it's big and it's long and it's huge. But oh my god, it's stunning. They, they, why are they fully like Hase CB? Like I feel like they've got even better quality. They were always good quality. Um, and then the skirt is here. I got it in a size up, but I feel like that's no harm. Oh my god, it's literally not in frame at all, but that's what it's like. I'll try it on now anyways. Okay, so this is the skirt and top that go together. The skirt is really big, but I get away with it. It's the length of it for me though, I'm like, I don't even know if that's too long. Now I don't have heels on though, so it might actually be perfect. But oh my god, the top is way too small. Like look, everything's just gaping out. It's making me look fatter. Like, just, yeah, it's not, not flattering because it's definitely like two sizes too small. Like, it's like I can't breathe. It has like a bra built in and my boobs are only half in it. And these straps are digging in so badly. Oh, so, okay, that's not gonna work unless I can do something with it, but I don't really have the time right now. <laughs> but it will be really nice if it fit. Oh, I can't wait to take this off. Okay, so I'm in crisis mode now because this isn't working. <laughs> this is lighter, it's not the same, and 
it just looks weird i don't like that i want it to look like a top and a skirt i don't want it to look the same <sighs> i don't have anything now unless i just get like a plain white different skirt oh i don't know what to do i'm an idiot and these are the shoes that i got to go with i love them but you can't even see them with this as well so like <sighs> what do i do like, ideally if i had the time i would take the skirt up and make it not as long as I do like how it's long but I don't know if I have this the wrong way um but yeah it's just you can't see the shoes and I feel like it's a bit yeah it's like hard to walk and it's a bit much you know and like it's just it's too big as well the size is too big so it's not flattering oh it's so annoying so like imagine it was shorter and you could see the shoes and then I had the top that matched it would be perfect. I could put some of the fabric into the top to make it bigger, but I just don't know how much time I have. <laughs> oh, I really don't have that much time. I don't know what to do. Only me would fuck this up. <laughs> Should have left it so late. This is another option, although the skirt has like a pinky hue off it. They're all different colors. Like these are more, the shoes are more creamy, and then this is kind of like pinky white and then this is like whiter but not it's a bit cream like i get away with this in the shoes but this in between is just throwing it all off but i like how this looks it's a lot more flattering like you can see a bit of the leg you know I'm like should i just do something like this Ugh, i don't know <laughs> don't know what to be doing with myself but i do feel better in this i feel more comfortable i felt just like that was too big you know Oh, right, I'll figure it out and I'll let you know. <laughs> Just means I'm going to have to do so much work now. I'm tired, like, I'm going to have to do something, let's be honest. <sighs> Hung up some jammies, those ones, the white ones are for the wedding night for me. I have a pair to, like, get ready in. Actually, I'll probably wear them, like, four and then change into my other pair to get ready in because you don't really want to be actually wearing the pyjamas that you slept in. <laughs> I feel like you want fresh ones, so... I got those in there from Francis Brennan and then there's a robe there as well that I got for Aoife to go with their pyjamas. The girls have these pyjamas in pink. Um, they're like the pyjamas that match this robe basically. I don't know if you could see any of that. I just realised it was so dark with the light behind it but oh I'm speaking so fast. <laughs> Why is there something wet on that? What have I spilt? Weird. I don't know what I spilt on it but I hope to god it comes out but anyway. Yeah, there's our, this style of pyjamas, but with, they're like pink with that colour, so they're perfect. They're also from Francis Brennan, but I don't think they're in stock anymore because they were reducing them recently. Um, and then I've got a different pair of pyjamas that are also Francis Brennan, <laughs> that are a bit fancier for the morning of getting ready. I think I showed you those when I got them. Now I need to organise the um, bathroom, bath, oh my god, I can't speak the baskets for the bathroom so you just put like well you don't have to but lots of people put like little bits and bobs in them so i've got a few slippers in here um not really enough pairs though so i might see if i can get some on amazon um to come quickly and then i bought these baskets there's three of them i'm not really sure exactly how i'm gonna do them but yeah these are only eight euro in pennies i'm like thinking the guys probably don't need as big a basket maybe so two small ones will do them maybe i'm not sure or else I'll do, oh, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll have to figure it out as I go. <laughs> okay, you're gonna laugh. So this is the boy stuff. It will definitely fit in one of these small ones. And this is the girl stuff. Perfect. And then these slippers are for the girls as well, in case if you get tired in their heels. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing stuff though. I just feel like there's still more stuff that I got for it and I don't have them here. So I don't know. I'm all over the place. Everything is literally all over the place. Oh yeah, I remember I got other stuff the other day. I just got two little impulse sprays in deals the other day. They just remind me of when we were younger so much. I love. Okay, so for the guys, I've just got some wipes in case they want them. If they're sweating, I guess. I don't know. Or like they spill food on their clothes. And then some mints, some chewing gum and deodorant. I don't really know. I think this is actually a girl's deodorant, but it looks the same. So it's fine. Like it looks, you know, it's grand. It'll do the job for both because I can't be bothered to get another one now at this stage. <laughs> Um, and then for the girls, I've got two packs of wipes for probably mostly the same reasons. Like they're hardly going to be removing their makeup in the bathroom at the wedding. Um, and then mints and chewing gum. And then I got two beauty blenders for just fixing their makeup and a little powder. I don't actually have a brush. I don't think. I forgot to get one. Um, and then freeze spray, which is meant to be good for like the pain in your feet. 
and I've got a few of these for the morning off that I'm going to spray on before and I've also got some more blister plasters for that reason too and um, try and prevent preventative sorry probably better um and then the same deodorant two of the impulse sprays the blister plasters oh i've actually got some normal plasters as well that i might throw in and um, some paracetamol <laughs> and these are i got them in spain but they're um like diora light so i just said i'll fuck them in and if anyone wants to take one like with them even to have that night or the next morning they can bring them and then i got some panty liners and tampons <laughs> i could not think of that word so yeah i'd say the girls one will be going in here and the boys will be in one of these so i'm gonna try it now i'll show you what i'm doing i'll just do a little montage is that the right word no yeah i'll just do a video and play music over it basically more bits for that i'm gonna have a think i feel like i'm missing bobbins in the girls one actually the dresses are done i'm happy to see the back of them to be honest they always take so much longer than you think good morning guys it's the next day and i am just back from we went to the gym and then we went to dolan's to get some bits for day two um so i'll show you what we picked up and yeah con's going to get his haircut now she has a wedding haircut <laughs> that's all he has to get done i literally have a full day of appointments tomorrow plus i already got some done last week <laughs> must be nice anyway here's a little haul of stuff we got it's kind of like check who to read sort of board bits um we also got three like big cheeses to make it look like a big kind of stacked cheese like tiered cheesecake of che like actual cheese not like cheesecake like the sweet <laughs> cheesecake like actual cheese is set up but in a picture because that's actually in connor's parents fridge he left it there so yeah because that's where we're having day two so there's no point bringing it home but um yeah i don't have a you don't have it to show you but you will see it on the day and i'll put in a picture there um so we just got basically bits to go with the cheese, you know. Um, so we got some grapes, a little mixture. I think it'll look nice. I sold them like around the cake in a pig and it looked nice. And um, then we got some little chutney things, sticky fig, relish, tomato and chilli, and then caramelised red onion. I'm obsessed with caramelised red onion. Literally love it so much. I literally always eat theirs like a Tesco. Simply, what is it? Not simply better, I'm going to say that because the Dunn's one is that, but I don't know, you know how they all have their kind of fancy own brand range well they have one that's so nice and there's also one from little as well i'm obsessed in like a toasty or something um, and then i got semi-dried cherry tomatoes cream cheese sweet peppers these are fucking phenomenal they're like stuffed with green cheese and they're literally insane um a little mini hummus selection i'm thinking i should have got breadsticks i saw them when i was there but i didn't get them this is just a little little selection of them all and um, so red pepper almost with red pepper and jalapeno I can never pronounce that word jalapeno <laughs> and hummus with lemon and coriander and then there must be one that's just plain I think that's it so that's plain with red pepper and that's the lemon and coriander in the end they sound really nice um, and then we got these little mini crackers like Ritz kind of and um, some chili crackers sea salt and black pepper crackers showed you that <laughs> and then some salami and ham and then this is another um, thing here. Good 
getting the presents ready for my little girlies. Got them perfume, my favourite, showed you that. Little necklaces, they're just plain little gold ones with diamante type things and matching slippers. And I've got the cream colour, I think I've shown you these. <laughs> then I got these little bags that were meant to be way bigger, but shock they're on Sheen. The inside bits also from Sheen. And um yeah. I'm going to get two white bags here. I don't have all my food. And I've literally gone to Dunn's, Tesco, Home Savers, Lidl, and Super Value. And I haven't found any bags that are nice. They're all too much, like too much print. And also I'm just going to do the little, like the white bag, something small in the pink bag for them to open. I'm going to wrap the perfume because that's the main gift. And um, yeah, hopefully... <laughs> That end up looking nice and then for Aoife I'm gonna I did see a nicer a nice bag in Tesco that I might get for her. Um it might be nice with like one a little bit different, I'm not sure. If not, I've got other options here, but it's kind of annoying. I've got like one extra thing for her because she's maid of honour. So I do need a bit more space for her. So maybe I'll be able to get like one big bag that's slightly different. Because they're all like printed in the shops, but like if one is printed because like she's maid of honour, that's might be okay. If it's all a similar colour vibes, we'll see. But anyway, at least we're getting there. At least I found some plain bags for the girls because I was sick looking. They were all like, happy birthday, happy birthday. And all. I was like, oh. So we used a little stencil that we have to do the letters for your name on the bags. And they look good. Um, oh, Con actually did them. And I'm just going to start putting the bits in. I need to get a few more bits to go into these little survival kits. But I'm starting off with these anyway. That is their Aura Lights. Like, just a different brand. Lemon and raspberry flavoured though. Phenomenal. Um, and then paracetamol. No strips. I'm just going to get them other little bits and bobs that might be handy to throw in their handbags for the day off. Not me literally taking 33 centimetres off this skirt because I don't like the length of it. I just feel like the length is what is making me feel like I'm drowning in it. So I hope that helps because if not, I've just wasted a good expensive bloody skirt. <laughs> Am I all right? No, I don't you wait for it. Day two prep is underway. Look at the sign on the bar. It's gorge. Skinny little dominoes for two skinny malinkies. I don't know if I showed you, but it's the last day now. It's the day before the wedding, which is number one of the advent calendar that I got from my maid of honor, Aoife. So I'm going to show you what I got next. I don't think I've shown you here. It was so cute. It was so, so nice. If you're ever maid of honor, you literally have to do it. So she gave me a week ago, so this is number seven, the first one. The countdown has begun. Enjoy a drink. I got these buzz balls, so they're meant to be really nice. So I'm so excited to try that. And number six was phenomenal. Um, something to keep your skin glowing. Um, and this is it. Ah, I've wanted to spray for ages, and I have all the minis, and I'm gonna bring these on my honeymoon. I'm so excited. It smells insane, yeah. if you don't know. I think everyone knows my name. Then number five, something to keep your hair looking fab. And I got this Unreal Beauty Works set. So that's great, I have all my minis now to bring away as well. So good. I love Beauty Works as well. Number four, you'll need all of your energy. Have a coffee on me. So cute. I didn't even know that you could do that. It's so nice. And number three is something to prevent cold feet. And it's cozy socks. And foot peels. Number two, we're getting close now. Something to help at the end of the day. Cleansing cloth and a little face wash. I'm also definitely taking these away with me. <laughs> and then number one, a little keepsake so you always remember your first dance. And it's a little, I can't remember what these little things are called on my first dance. So it's so sweet. Literally solved. <laughs> I'm just organizing everything to go. We're literally about to leave the house. It's now Thursday, which is literally the day before the wedding. So we're heading down to my valley today. And I can't, that's 
with new and stuff but I'm also like maybe I'll take my and use a suitcase because it's just so much easier. Nah, I'll probably just use my 10 year old gym bag. 